In your pocket, meet your potential manager and co-workers. Match clicks, 20-second video selfies. Uh, give job candidates an up-close and personal portrait of a potential employer. Welcome to Total Picture Radio. We produce broadcast quality videos, webinars, and podcast interviews focused on talent acquisition, recruiting, HR technology, leadership, and innovation. Visit our conference and events page on totalpicture.com to learn about our unique video and podcast marketing opportunities available at many of the most important HR and recruiting events throughout the year. Today, we're speaking with the CEO of MatchClick, Maury Hannigan. Welcome to an HR Technology Channel podcast and vodcast on Total Picture Radio. I'm Peter Clayton. Yes, we're shooting video on Snow Day here in New York City, where they got about, I don't know, five inches of snow in, in the city itself. Uh, joining me is Maury Hannigan, the CEO of MatchClick, an award-winning recruitment tool that, quote, helps employers engage passive candidates. Maury, welcome to Total Picture Radio. Thanks, Peter. Hello. All right, so let's start from the top. Give us your backstory, Maury. How did you get involved in this? Um, I'm actually a marketer by training and mindset. I started my career at Procter & Gamble and then went to Pepsi and understand that recruiting really is marketing. So all the things you do in good consumer packages marketing are things that you do in recruiting. You understand who your target audience is. You understand how you communicate with them. There are key metrics you need to look at. So I've been in this field, uh, ran Hannigan Consulting Group, which was an HR consulting firm for um, more than 20 years, and really brought a lot of the disciplines from consumer packaged goods marketing into recruiting. Um, but I've also got a technology background, and it drives me crazy that HR is still using 1990s technology. We've got tools that make it easy to engage candidates, to give them information that's useful. Um, and we still do things like post text-only job descriptions on job boards, um, which generally aren't accessible on mobile and certainly aren't all that interesting. So I decided to use my tech background and my, my knowledge of the field and develop a tool that would really help recruiters be more productive. All right, so so let's uh, dig into this a little bit deeper, Maury. Tell us uh, tell us about MatchClick, what it is, and what it does. MatchClick is a tool. It's really a content management system that allows employers to reach out to to potential candidates and engage them. It includes three videos from one from your hiring manager and two from coworkers for a specific position. Um, the videos are only 20 seconds long. Your hiring manager can record on their cell phone, their webcam, their tablet, whatever they've got. Um, it's easy, and we put it all together. So when an employer reaches out to a candidate, they can send what we call a job profile. It has all the information that a candidate's really interested in. And most importantly, it lets the candidate meet their potential boss. So we found that when employers reach out to someone, let's say through LinkedIn or an email or whatever, and say, hey, you know, we've got a position we think you'd be interested in, click below to meet your boss, people do. We're all curious enough about who we might work for, um, even if we're not in any kind of active job search. Um, for 20 seconds, that's not much of a time commitment. It's obviously all mobile accessible, so you can do it on your phone. Um, and the idea that you could see the person you'd work for, get a sense of the culture and their style, see a couple of coworkers, um, it's almost too enticing to resist. So people open it, they look at it, um, and then they respond to recruiters, which is something that anybody who's doing recruiting, that's all you want. You just want to start the conversation. If you can start the conversation, you've got a chance to actually, um, you know, engage someone and, and bring them into the process. So that's what MatchClick is all about. We make it really easy for people to put together something that's interesting, um, that's got useful information, and that's accessible to candidates. One thing you and I discussed when we met in New York uh, was authenticity, and I brought up the the typical corporate career page, and this seems particularly prevalent on Facebook, which happens to use the same model. Uh, and, and if you're watching the video version of this interview, I'm going to show you exactly 
whom I mean because you have seen her in many, many, many different places. Here she is. This woman is everywhere, along with her multicultural and multi-generational <laughs> friends. Usually there's a, a boomer who looks something like me, and there's always obviously an African-American woman. And, you know, if it's a tech job, there's usually an Indian. I mean someone from India in the shot. You know, it, and, and everybody knows these are all models. And... Um, you know, as we discussed more, you know, especially the, the millennials, this does not impress them one bit. No, not only does it not impress them, it turns them off. Right. And why go out there and, and say to a potential candidate, I'm going to start right off by being, you know, dishonest with you. Th these people don't work for us. <laughs> They're not. Um, what a way to start a relationship. Um, how different if you show them a video of the actual hiring manager and say, yes, this is real. This is someone who's directly going to impact your job, your career here um, at our organization. And you start with that kind of transparency and that kind of credibility. And that's huge in terms of building any relationship. And one of the things, if you look at the, the, the little video clips um, in the match click profiles, is the first thing you come away with is how credible they are. You believe these people because, first of all, they're real people, and mm -hmm. they're not scripted. They just talk to you for you know a couple of sentences. So it's not all of the nine adjectives strung together that corporate communications would like you to talk about when you talk about the job. People trip over their words. They leave sentences incomplete. They do all the things that normal people do when they speak. And so they're, they're very authentic. They're very credible. You watch a video, and you just absolutely believe that that person is telling you what their experience is like or what the job is like. And it's just so different than anything that's out there right now. Speaking about authenticity, obviously we're doing a, a webcam interview here and we're breaking up a little bit. Uh, it's it's not horrible, but uh, just bear with us. Uh, we do have a snow day up here in Connecticut as well, and we did get more snow, by the way, than New York City. But uh, you know, one thing I want to talk about is you know some of the challenges that you have in in you know as you mentioned this is all new technology that you're putting out there and trying to get especially large fortune 500 corporations to embrace whom uh you know have more gatekeepers than you know what to do with so first of all you know how do you get employees to shoot videos of themselves i'm sure it's pretty easy with millennials cuz they're used to doing it but, you know, when you get into the Gen Xers and certainly the baby boomers, I'm sure you, you reach some resistance on, on shooting these videos. We started out expecting that millennials would be the ones that would be most comfortable with this. Um, and I would say that to, to clients as they were starting to, to launch this, um, the use of the platform. But one of our best videos is from a guy who's probably early 60s. And, and, and also, interestingly, he, was a quantitative, he is a quantitative analyst, and we thought, oh, dear, this is going to be dreadfully dry. Um, and this guy just came to life and said the kinds of things that somebody who wants to be a quantitative analyst wants to hear. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you, the first couple of videos can be um, tough because managers don't know what's expected of them. But as soon as they see one or two, they go, oh. Jim did that. Oh, heck, Jim can do that. I can do that. Or, you know, oh, Nancy, yeah, I can, I can talk about the job for a couple of sentences. So once people see a couple of them, then it becomes very easy. Once they get over the idea that this has to be, you know, a perfect corporate video and the lighting has to be perfect and the words have to be perfect, that they can push their hair out of their eyes or stumble. And it's okay. They can just talk to people. The idea that, that as a hiring manager, you could just talk to a potential candidate is really exciting because hiring managers can be hypercritical of recruiters. Oh, they don't understand the job. They're not positioning it right. It's, you know, it's recruiters' reasons that we don't have these great candidates. Well, we take that out of the equation now. And, um, right. and some recruiters are thrilled. It's, it's only 20 seconds of the manager's time, um, but it lets them have input in a way that's constructive. Um, and they get to say, you know, give their spiel and talk to candidates. So it, it's really a, it, it's a great dynamic between the hiring manager and the, the recruiter. You raised a big red flag for uh, HR and legal when you said unscripted, because as you know, <laughs> and you know, back to this whole thing about authenticity. I mean, we've all seen these corporate videos where, you know, somebody is reading a script and it's so obvious and it's so painful. 
and it's so bogus. But how do you get <laughs> how, how do you get you know these legal departments and these HR you know leaders to go? Oh yeah, uh, we can do this unscripted. That's fine. Yeah. Well, we planned for that because um, le- legal really is our favorite department in the organization. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Really, yeah. really. Um, yeah. Yeah, but, it's only 20 seconds. Right, right. <laughs> but, but we understand no organization wants video going out that hasn't been vetted, right? Someone's going to make a joke that's just inappropriate. They may mean well, but, um, you know, or they're going to blurt out something that's proprietary or they're going to name a client that they shouldn't have named. Um, so we understand there needs to be a, a check in the system. So when we designed MatchClick, we designed it with an approval process in place. Uh, we've been very successful with all our clients so far at having the recruiter actually be the approver. If you've got a professional recruiter who understands what's potentially discriminatory, what's not, what's proprietary, they can look at a 20-second video and approve it. But nothing goes live until it's been reviewed and approved. We did have one um, client where legal was determined that they had to review everything. Um, and some poor attorney you know, watched four of them and went, oh, for heaven's sakes, you don't need a law degree to do this, um, and sent it back to HR where it belonged. Because you've got professionals, um, they can look at a 20-second video and say, yes, this is appropriate. We understand our branding. We understand how we want to come across to candidates. Um, and if they decide to decline a, a video, it's all automated. You know, an email goes back to the individual who recorded it and said, thanks for your video. We can't use it in its current form. You know, Here's the reason why. Please just upload a new one. It's all quick and automated, but we do have that built into the system so that you don't have to worry that something's going to get out there that um, shouldn't be. I want to talk about passive candidates, a term that is being thrown around a lot by vendors these days and one that I actually happen to use in your open. Uh, and now that the job market has completely flipped, which I think has happened much, much faster than most employers had anticipated. I mean, it is now a candidate's market out there if you've got the right skills right. and the right education and background. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, so talk to us about this term passive candidates, which uh, if, if you're not in the recruiting industry and don't know what, quite that, what that means, that means somebody who currently has a job. I mean, that's code for this person is employed, and so therefore they're going to be a lot harder to recruit than someone who is what's called an active candidate, who is someone who is unemployed and out there actively looking for a job. And, and the reality is the world isn't nearly as neat as those two buckets. Um, There are a lot of recruiters who think, you know, the active candidate is the unemployed person who's on the job boards and applying, and the passive candidate is the individual who's succeeding at their organization and not the least bit interested in a job. The reality is there's a spectrum there of candidates. Um, You go all the way from the folks, and and we've actually put together this um, passive candidate map that lays out eight distinct different segments of candidates. And it goes from one extreme to what are truly locked candidates. We, we consider them locked into their jobs. That may be um, right now the employees of WhatsApp. There's a $3 billion retention bonus waiting for those folks if they hang on for two or three years. I don't think you're going to shake them loose unless you're really persuasive. But we'd consider those a locked candidate. Um, there are lots of reasons why people are locked into their jobs. Um, whether they've got family situations that don't give them geographic mobility, um, they might be a couple of years away from vesting or so forth. There are people who are absolutely locked into their job for lots of reasons. At the other end of the spectrum, you've got your, your completely active candidate who's out there searching. But there are a lot of people in between that for the right opportunity would listen to something. Um, there are lots of situations that, that people have. They may be looking for a promotion and they understand their boss isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So they're working, they're successful, they're happy at their job, but they don't really want to keep this job for the next two or three years. They're ready to move up. So if the right thing came across their desk, they'd be interested. Um, and what's important is you understand that not all passive candidates are homogeneous. And if you understand what those segments are, as a recruiter, you can reach out with a much more tailored approach and find some of those triggers that will get them to pick up their head and go, oh, global responsibility. Yeah, I'd really love to add you know, global to my portfolio. Let me talk to these folks um, or, or whatever the situation is. But, it's, but there are a whole spectrum of passive candidates. Um, and most of them can be shaken loose if you have the right approach. 
I think people need to understand that there's a tremendous amount of technology behind what you're doing with MatchClick. It's not just, oh, upload this video to Dropbox and we'll do something with it. So can you, can you sort of explain, uh, I mean, you told me you have a whole technical department that's been, <laughs> that works 24-7 on this thing. Yes. So tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I think one of the, the beauties of, of MatchClick is we've made it so easy to use. When you look at it, it's a simple one, two, three step process. You you input your, you know, your um, job specs, your job description, and so forth. And if you use any of the job distributors, eQuest or, or Broadbean, you know, we're integrated with those things to make that very easy. So from a recruiter standpoint, it's very streamlined, very quick. But yes, behind the the nice clean screens, there's a tremendous amount of technology that allows, let's say, a hiring manager to use an iPhone, an Android phone, any kind of tablet, any kind of webcam, any kind of camcorder. We're agnostic in terms of equipment. So we can take anything in. Um, we've set it up so that the hiring manager um, or your coworkers don't need to download any software. They don't need a username or password. They just click on a link and upload the, the video they want to upload, and then they're done and gone. Um, we've made this very, very simple and very user-friendly from the user standpoint but to do that, you need to account for every possible scenario on the back end. It doesn't matter if you use Taleo or Conexa or SuccessFactor. We don't care what your ATS is. Um, we don't care how you distribute your jobs. We've just made this seamless. Just click a button and um, it all the, the system just kind of hops to for you. So we've also we've allowed an unlimited number of approvers. Um, we, d we do have one organization, a um, consulting firm, where the senior person wants to see – he wants to approve the videos for his group. So that's great. We've, we've got that kind of flexibility. Um, we've got the flexibility that maybe you have a junior recruiter who's just joined your organization and you're not sure that they understand what's proprietary and what's not, so you don't want them approving videos yet. You can set them up as just a recruiter and have somebody more senior be your approver. We've really allowed for you know enterprise organizations so every recruiter has their own dashboard. They can track their own things. Um, behind some very clean, simple screens, there's a lot of technology. Yeah, and I think anyone who has ever been involved in developing any sort of tech project understands that the simpler it is for the user to use it, the more complex it is <laughs> on, on the other end to develop in it to, and to make it work really well. I mean, that's really what Apple built its whole business on. Right. Right. And we're, right. we're absolutely following that model. Make it clean, easy, simple, fast. We've got a lot of respect for recruiters. Um, for recruiters that are managing 35, 40 jobs at a time, they don't have a whole lot of time to deal with tools that don't integrate with everything else. So we've set up MatchClick so it integrates with your ATS on the front end. When a candidate applies, if they see a MatchClick profile and apply, they're taken directly back to your ATS. So all your data is all together. You can um, you know, accumulate it and run it. It's We've made this fast and simple. To that point, Maury, that's certainly one of the biggest complaints I get from most corporate recruiters is they've got to log into 15 different systems every morning, you know, which takes a half an hour just to do that, just <laughs> right. to be able to do their work because a lot of these things just don't talk to each other. Right. 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 That's a, a real problem. So we've been, we've worked really hard to integrate front end and back end. Um, but understand ultimate productivity comes from getting candidates to respond to you. I mean, we, we've seen client numbers who will, who've got a couple that do really good, very disciplined tracking. And when they reach out to potential candidates, they get a 5% response rate. You know, mm -hmm. Most of the candidates just completely ignore them. Um, when they send a match click profile that says, you know, click below to meet your boss, they're getting a 40 to 50% response rate. That's, that's phenomenal. And in terms of the amount of time it takes to put together a slate of candidates that you can bring to a hiring manager, if you're getting people to respond to you, it's a whole different game than just, you know, reaching out and reaching out and reaching out and trying to find enough candidates to put together a slate. So what we've tried to do with MatchClick is say, take a little bit of time, just give us the emails of your hiring manager and coworkers, um, and we'll make your, your, you know, your productivity much, much higher. So it's that trade-off of for a little bit more time, you get a lot more response. And that makes sense to recruiters. Let's talk about this from the employer standpoint for a minute. Uh, tell us how this uh, works. Uh, you know, it, it, let's pretend I'm, you know, a, uh, uh, a recruiting leader, a, you know, head of uh, talent acquisition. I'm interested in using your service. 
What are the steps? How much does it cost? How do you get started doing this? Um, again, simplicity is what was our guiding principle here. There's no software to buy. There's no account set up to deal with. You can actually just go to the MatchClick site. It's match-click.com. If you want, you could start with just a single job profile. Um, for $249, you can get you can set up one job profile and try it. Uh, it will stay live for 30 days. You can send it to potential candidates, but then you can buy packages of job profiles. Um, but again, it's simple. You can go on, you can set up your account in about five minutes, just very basic information, and have a job profile set up in another 10 minutes tops. Great. Uh, well, Maury, thank you so much for taking time to speak with us here on Total Picture Radio. I'm, I'm really happy that we've had an opportunity to talk about MatchClick. And so how, uh, how can our listeners connect with you? Uh, you can connect with me directly. It's Maury, M-A-U-R-Y, at match-click.com. So be sure to visit Maury's uh, show page in the HR Technology channel of Total Picture Radio. That's totalpicture.com for resource links and more information. While there, please sign up for our newsletter uh, subscribe to our iTunes channel and join the conversation uh, on face on our Facebook group. Uh, I'm happy to connect with our listeners on LinkedIn. Follow me on Twitter at Peter Clayton and at Total Picture. Thanks so much for tuning in to Total Picture Radio. See you next time.